Time Magazine voted the meat dress as the top fashion statement of 2010. It was so iconic that it was preserved and encased in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum. To this day, people all around the world remember the meat dress. However, suggesting the dress was only a fashion stunt minimizes its true meaning. Lady Gaga is known for her bold and elaborate outfits, as well as being a 130 times platinum, 13 times Grammy winning, 16 Guinness World Record holding, Oscar winning, all around great artist. Gaga makes it very clear what message she is trying to get across with her art, yet the media will try to spin it a different way that fits their narrative. They said the meat dress was anti-fashion, that it was a defiant feminist gesture, or an anti-vegan statement. For me this evening, it's as if we don't stand up for what we believe in, if we don't fight for our rights, Pretty soon we're gonna have as much rights as the meat on our bones. But the only reason why anyone cared about Lady Gaga wearing the meat dress is because of her VMA performance one year earlier that shocked the world. In late 2008, Gaga released her first album, The Fame, in which the first four tracks would go on to be 27 times platinum singles, and arguably the best four song run in a modern day pop album. Her meteoric rise in fame led to a necessary performance at the following year's video music awards. The performance began with her underneath a fallen chandelier singing a subdued version of the chorus to Poker Face. She then quickly transitioned into her latest hit, Paparazzi. Paparazzi is a song about the media vultures who stalk celebrities for photos. As we all know, these people can really pester celebrities even to the point of violence occasionally. She was dressed in a white leotard, and throughout the song her vocal performance became more shaky as she seemed to be physically degrading, at one point hobbling around the stage with a cane. Fake blood begins to pour out of her chest and run down her stomach, turning her white garment into a stained mess. She even smears some on her face. At the end of the song, she is essentially feigning death, before being raised up on a wire to peer into the crowd with dead eyes. It's obvious that she is making a statement on how detrimental Papa Parazzi can be to a celebrity's well-being. The lyrics she was singing, the outfits she was wearing, and the performances she created were all a part of a greater story. Gaga set the standard in the first year of her career that she demanded your attention, and you were going to give it to her. However, sometimes the public would totally misunderstand her performances and not get the underlying message, which led to unfortunate truths being shared. While performing her song Swine at South by Southwest, she was criticized for having a performance artist, Millie Brown, stick her fingers down her throat and regurgitate a nasty green liquid all over the pop star. Critics said it was, quote, music vomit, shock for shock's sake, and disturbing. A high profile celebrity critic, Demi Lovato, said, sad, as if we didn't have enough people glamorizing eating disorders already. Bottom line, it's not cool or artsy at all. Even a petition was started against Lady Gaga, demanding her to stop glamorizing bulimia, which was signed by almost 25,000 people. Have y'all bought gas recently? Man, it can be expensive. That's why I'm grateful for sponsors like DealDash for helping me out. DealDash is an online auction site where you can get insane deals on tons of different products. You can bid on anything from watches to new cars on their website or through their mobile app. Right now I'm bidding on this Shell gift card. Here's how it works. You buy a bid pack, you can get any amount from 50 to 4,000. Every auction starts at $0 and every bid raises the price by only one cent. Like this $50 Shell gift card, I'm gonna put 20 bids on it, now I'm the highest bidder. Some of the deals people get on here are crazy. For example, someone bought a brand new car for extremely cheap. Or this PS5 with a TV and a soundbar for only $240. That's a 90% discount. There's new stuff being listed every day, so you're bound to find something you want. Lucky for you, DealDash is giving 100 bids for free with your first bid pack purchase. If you click the link in the description and use my code PATRICKCC. Seriously, if you want to save some money, Click that link, use my code, and put in some bids. Thanks to DealDash for sponsoring this video. Click the link in the description and go get some deals. Lady Gaga received a $2.5 million Dorito sponsorship for this performance. They were launching the hashtag Bold Missions campaign, in which fans had to complete bold tasks to earn their entry to the show. Fans were disappointed with her song selection. She didn't play any hits as well as her attitude towards the crowd. One of the Doritos executives said, I paid her 2.5 million. I better hear Alejandro. She didn't meet his request. Nobody would find out the real reason behind the confusing performance until eight months later, and it was darker than we thought. Drink water. The song is about, the song is about demoralization. The song is about rage and fury and passion. And I had a lot of pain that I wanted to release. And I said to myself, I want to sing this song while I'm rip, ripping hard on a drum kit. And then I want to get on a mechanical bull, which is, you know, probably one of the most like demoralizing things that you can put a female on, you know, in her underwear. Right. You know, and I want this chick to throw up on me in front of the world so that I can tell them, you know what? 
you could never, ever degrade me as much as I could degrade myself and look how beautiful it is when I do. She then goes on to tell her story of being R-worded by a record producer when she was just 19 years old. She wanted the performance to be disgusting, to make you feel uncomfortable, to make you feel rage, the way she felt dealing with this traumatic experience. She doubled down on her performance. She understood why people may have not liked it, but said it was, quote, art in its purest form. Gaga was draped in actual raw meat from the dress to the shoes and even a little steak beret and a purse as accessories for the 2010 Video Music Awards. She was the most nominated artist for a single year in 2010 with 13 nominations, which she would go on to win eight. So all eyes were gonna be on her no matter what. But Gaga actually didn't arrive at the VMAs draped in meat. She wore a more traditional Alexander McQueen gown while she was accompanied by four members of the US Armed Forces. At the time, nobody knew why she had these chaperones with her. This was arguably the statement that meant more to her, but she knew it wasn't enough to make headlines. The four service members she arrived with were negatively affected by the military's oppressive don't ask don't tell policy the policy prohibited any non-heterosexual person from disclosing their sexual orientation or from speaking about any same-sex relationships while they were serving in the united states armed forces service members who disclose that they are homosexual or engage in homosexual conduct would be discharged gaga has been very open about her support for the lgbtq community as a bisexual woman herself her six times platinum single born this way can be described as quote the lady gaga anthem that previewed a decade of culture wars the song itself salutes not just the lgbtq community but also people of various skin colors nationalities and abilities plus subway kids and the insecure Gaga makes statements with her art. She said during her 2014 Swine performance, when you die, nobody is gonna give a f what you tweeted. Her record Born This Way is a timeless political statement that people will continue to spread, even when she is long gone. Three days before the 2010 VMAs, Judge Virginia A. Phillips ruled that Don't Ask, Don't Tell was an unconstitutional violation of the First and Fifth Amendments. The morning of the VMAs, she granted an immediate worldwide injunction, prohibiting the Department of Defense from enforcing the policy. Now, I'm not a lawyer, so I'm not going to get too technical on this subject, but the worldwide injunction is a huge first step in doing away with this oppressive policy, but technically it's still a law, just an unenforceable one if that makes sense. But it was during this Ellen at the VMAs interview where she was able to mobilize her audience and spread her message. If we call Harry Reid on the phone and we tell him to uh, schedule to vote in the Senate this month, we can get the bill to the president. At that time, Harry Reid was the Senate Majority Leader, meaning he is in charge of scheduling business on the Senate floor. So he is really the most important person to get the ball rolling to abolishing Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Well, it turns out Gaga's mobilization of her audience worked, because three months later, the Don't Ask, Don't Tell Repeal Act of 2010 was voted on by the Senate, with the measure passing by a vote of 65 to 31. Almost exactly one year after Gaga wore the meat dress, President Barack Obama signed the repeal into law. So there is a huge argument to be made that a pop star covering herself in meat would aid in the repeal of a homophobic military policy. However, that still doesn't specifically answer the question as to why she wore the meat. Like what does meat have to do with the sexual orientation of military members? Sure, you could say that she is making a statement that judging people based on their sexual orientation rather than how good they are at their job is treating them like a piece of meat. But she knew people weren't going to decode that. She knew people were looking for a deeper mystery. She knew that the media was looking for something darker, that juicy story, that clickbait headline they could share. And she continued to manipulate them to get exactly what she wanted. Everybody wants to see the decay of the superstar. Do you think people want to see your decay? What? Of course they do. They want to see me fail. They want to see me fall on stage. They want to see me vomiting out of a nightclub. I mean, isn't that the age that we live in? That we want to see um, people who have it all lose it all? Gaga studied the greats that came before her, how they got famous. What did they do? Where did they go wrong? She understood the sociology of fame and used it to control her legacy. Gaga knew that the public, the tabloids, and the paparazzi were going to be preying on her downfall the moment she rose to fame. 
However, she knew they were the gateway to her fans and potential new fans. It was like a toxic relationship because she knew how valuable people's attention was. She knew that if she gave over the top performances and wore intricate outfits, the media would be focused on her art. She art directs every moment of her life to avoid people looking for a story beneath the surface because the surface is, well, complicated. Throughout her entire career, people always wondered what is the real Lady Gaga like? Everything she does is a big show, insinuating that she has something to hide, but they don't have time to look for what she's hiding because they are trying to figure out why she is wearing this lace catsuit with the spiky crown, why she is riding a horse controlled by two humans, why she is wearing this racy nun outfit, or why she is wearing this spiked leather pyrotechnic possible skin graft and coming suit. She's able to maintain her privacy because people are trying to decode her performances rather than her personal life, and they are constantly wondering, what will she do next? And when they are talking about her performances, they are spreading them, allowing her art to reach millions of eyeballs. All the while, she's selling millions of records, making her one of the highest selling female artists of all time. She wore the meat dress because she knew she could communicate her message directly to her fans and they would listen. Then the tabloids would try and decode the darker or true meaning behind it, which then in turn would spread her message even farther, because she said directly to their faces what the true meaning behind it was. But she let them dig and dig because she knew she had nothing to hide. What artists do wrong is they lie. And I don't lie. I'm not a liar. Lady Gaga is not a liar. She is not hiding who she really is. She is telling you exactly who she is. You are looking for a deeper meaning, and it's making her more successful.